Welcome guys, my name is Ricardo Pereira and today I'm going to show you how to use Toast Notifications. So don't leave and learn Magic City. So to start, let's go to the marketplace and search for Toast Notification and select the one that is called Feedback Toast Notification. One click and select the button download going to import the widgets to your application so just click okay currently i have three entities in my domain model for this tutorial i'm going just to use one that is the, the request entity I have two attributes one called name and another called value and i will need one more and i'm going to call it notification so let's create a new entity as a name set notification and let's add two attributes one called message going to be a string and a second one called to show and this one is going to be a boolean default value let's set as true and click ok go to the access rule Tab, click in new and give permissions to your module rule give permission to create new objects also to delete and set read and write access to this user rule click ok ok again also in this project i have a few pages created one it's the request overview as you can see here i only have a data grid also a title and some buttons to create a new object and also to add it and here I'm going to the toolbox drag and drop a data view double click and select as a data source microflow click to select and let's create a new one so click in new and let's call it ds notification get object and click ok click to show and then click ok inside the microflow let's go to the properties and follow some rules to have access to this microflow click ok and here we are going to the toolbox and retrieve one object from the notification entity so select from database Entity select, notification, range, we are going just to get one object and as an XPath, let's select only the notification objects that we need to show. So let's constrain this XPath to just our to show attribute and click OK. Now add a decision just to check if this notification object exists or not so notification different than empty that means that exists so as a caption we can write exists and click ok if the object exists we are going to the right side so condition value true and right click on the notification action and then set notification as a return value now we need to add a path to the false so at the end add end event and here we need to create a new object just in case the notification object do not exist so create object entity select notification and click ok and now let's return this one to the false path save and then return to the overview page inside the data view we are going to add the, the widgets that we download from the store so go to the toolbox and on the add-ons uh, category you can find the feedback notification so just drag and drop to our data view double click as a data source we are going to select from database select notification and let's add a constraint 
just the same that we had on the microflow. So to show equals to true. Click OK. OK again. And as a notification text, you're going to select the message attribute. And here we can set the type of the uh, toast. So if we want to have uh, info toast, a warning, error, or just a default, we can also set the theme of the toast. So it's light, dark, or color it. If you have uh, some custom uh, classes in your project, you can also add it here. And we also have different tabs for the actions. So on show action, on close action. For this tutorial, I'm going just to use the on show action. So select here, call a microflow. Let's create a new one. Name, you're going to write on change. Notification. And change to, to false. So we are going to use this microflow to set the value to show to false. Let's include the notification object. Click OK. Click to show and click OK. And here we are going just to drag and drop a change object. Select the notification object. In action, select to commit as a yes. And then you can just click in new member to show and set it as false. Click OK and OK again. Don't forget to give permissions to this microflow. Select your user role and then click OK. And now you can go back to your overview page. Click again on the widget, go to behavior tab. Here you can also set the position of the toast notification top right. So you, here uh, you have multiple options. You can also set some transition uh, animations. So bounce, slide, zoom, clip. You can also set if you want to show an icon or not, hide progress bar, all zone over. So you, here you have multiple objects and that you can use to configure all the toast notification. You can also change the behavior of the toast notification while it's closing. And then you can also change the appearance with the default uh, Mendix configurations. So soon you have everything configured, you can just click OK. And now I'm going to drag and drop the request title and also the data grid inside our data view. I'm going to click on the new button, go to the new edit page. So here I'm going to change the page parameters. I'm going to click and also add a new one. As a data type, it's going to be an object. Entity, I'm going to add notification and click OK. Go to the toolbox, also drag and drop data view. Double click, select by context, and now select your page parameter notification. Click OK. Click No in this pop up, and now drag and drop the request data view to our notification data view. And because we have nested data views, we cannot have a footer uh, on the data view that is inside. So just move the buttons. To, to this area, click on save, and as you can see, it have the default uh, behavior of uh, save changes. So you can just change it to call a microflow, and let's create a new one. Here you can include the request and also the notification objects, and change the name of the microflow to ACT request. Save. For this tutorial, I'm, I'm not going to add any validation. So I'm going just to commit the request object and also change the values of the notification object. 
So for this, I'm going to drag and drop the commit object action. So double click, object request, and click to refresh in client, and click OK. Now drag and drop the change object, select the notification object, click to commit and also to refresh in client, click in new and change the message to whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to write request name plus the name of the request. Plus was created. Was created. Click OK. You can also change the to show boolean to true. It's not mandatory to do this uh, step because by default you have the value as true, but just in case uh, we can also set this value here. So click OK and OK again. And before we finish this microflow, let's just uh, add a close page action to close our new edit pop-up and make sure this microflow also have permissions. So select your module rule and also OK. Now let's run the application to check if everything went well. So click to run server, save and continue. Click to view app, login as the MX admin, and now we can simulate the creation of the new request object. So click in new, and here we can write test three, and soon we click on the save button. It should appear on the top right, the toast notification. So click save, and as you can see, the request name test three was created. Currently, this toast notification have the info file and also the light mode, and this is everything configured on the, the widget. You can also see that this widget have a progress bar. As soon as I move my mouse from the, the notification, the progress bar will continue to decrease. So as you can see, and when the progress bar ends, the toast notification disappear. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave the like and I see you soon. Bye bye.